Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SAS with ServiceNow. This is a new training for learning JavaScript with ServiceNow. In this training, you will learn JavaScript programming language and how you can run a JavaScript code in ServiceNow. This training targets ServiceNow developers who wants to perform development and scripting in ServiceNow to achieve complex requirements of customers and clients. Non-ServiceNow professionals can also watch this training to learn JavaScript. In this course, we will cover the topics like Overview of JavaScript Statements and syntax in JavaScript Variables Operators Data types in JavaScript Array Objects Conditions Loop Functions in JavaScript Classes and regular expression. And we will also see some other elements we have in JavaScript. By the end of this training, you will have a complete understanding of JavaScript language and programming. However, learning JavaScript is not the only thing needed for performing scripting or development in ServiceNow. ServiceNow provides different classes and methods which you can call with JavaScript to perform different actions in ServiceNow. In order to perform development in ServiceNow by using these methods, you need to complete ServiceNow development training as well, as this training will be focusing majorly on JavaScript language. Link of that training is already provided in the description of this video. Prerequisite This training has been developed considering no prior knowledge of JavaScript. If you will not work on ServiceNow development, you can still watch this training for learning JavaScript. The only difference from other JavaScript training is that all practical examples of JavaScript code will be shown in ServiceNow application. And in some cases, they will be related to ServiceNow functionalities as well. The first section of this course is Overview of JavaScript. In this section, we will learn what is JavaScript, why we need JavaScript in ServiceNow, and some more details. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a popular programming language which is used for web development and change the behavior of the pages. It is an interpreted programming language with object-oriented capabilities. JavaScript is mostly used for client-side development. However, you can also perform server-side development as well. In ServiceNow, you will do both type of coding in JavaScript. Why we need JavaScript in ServiceNow? JavaScript coding is used in ServiceNow to perform development on top of out-of-the-box functionalities. JavaScript coding is used when you need to perform integration of ServiceNow with other applications. JavaScript is used when you need to perform some automation in ServiceNow. If you are a ServiceNow developer, then when exactly you will use JavaScript in ServiceNow? So let's see the use cases. Showing an alert on the form if field value changes and push a value in a reference field. If you need to copy comments from a parent racket to a child racket. 
if you don't want to resolve incident until all child tasks are closed. Showing assignee values as per the assignment groups. Pushing the field value on change of another field value on a form. Now all these similar type of use cases which cannot be achieved via configuration need scripting in JavaScript language in ServiceNow. Where to write JavaScript code in ServiceNow? ServiceNow provides a field with type as a script which can be added on the form of any table. You will find this field majorly on the elements which are used for different types of scripting in ServiceNow. This field shows a script editor where you can write this JavaScript code. Overall, this script editor executes all JavaScript code. Where to see JavaScript code output? Programming can only be understood when you see it practically with the output of an executed program. As I mentioned earlier, I will be showing you the output of JavaScript code in ServiceNow only with its different functionalities. First one is browser alert, which is triggered with a method written in JavaScript called as alert. I will write the JavaScript code and you will see the output of that code in browser alert message. Second one is logs. You can generate logs in ServiceNow with some JavaScript methods provided by ServiceNow. And the last one is the main editor of writing JavaScript in which we can print the output by executing the code written in it. I'm talking about background script which is a functionality to run server-side JavaScript code to perform some actions and you can write a generic JavaScript code as well. I will also show you the output by updating some of the fields of ServiceNow forms and tables. This is ServiceNow instance and it is my personal developer instance provided by ServiceNow. Browser alert is a client-side alert. So I will be writing those scripts in client script functionality of ServiceNow to show the output in an alert message. So go to client scripts over here. So I will type client script. This will open the list of client scripts we have in your instance. I will click on new, provide the name as test and mention the table as incident. Here I will select on load. I will be showing you the output. This alert will be shown when form will be loaded. I will come over here and I will just mention a JavaScript code, just one line of code that is alert. And I can just type, this is a browser alert. So basically we are using JavaScript code. This is one line of code we are writing. And here is the string which we want to print as an output. So I will just save this. Client script is saved. And now I will go to list of incidents so that I can open any incident. Let's click this one. And when form will be loaded, you will see that output in an alert. So you can see this is a browser alert. So it says this is a browser alert. This is the same method, same string, which we used basically passed into our script. And that's what I can see over here as an output. So I can close this. So this is one of the way which I can show you the output of the JavaScript code. Another one is logs. So for logs, if I type here logs and under transactions, system logs, you will see this all. This will basically show you all the system logs. So if I click this, 
Now this shows this list of records and this is showing you all the records uh, in the system we have for logs. So you can write the code in ServiceNow and you can generate the logs as well, which will be basically visible in this particular list. So whatever log you will generate, it will be created as a record in this particular list. So you can see whether logs has been generated. So whatever code you will write, like for example, we wrote that alert. Rather than alert, if I use maybe a, a method in which via which I can print the log, in that case, that this is a browser alert string will be visible as a record in this particular list. Now the last one is background script, where we will show you all the examples, mostly all the examples of JavaScript. So if I come over here and I just type background, you will automatically get this system under system definition. You will find this module scripts background. And if I click this, you can see this screen, which is called as background script. So it's, it's basically the screen which gives you opportunity to write the JavaScript code. Let me write a quick code for you. So I will just make this screen a little bit big so that you can see the script. Now here, how exactly you can execute the code? So you will see here, we have this run script button. So whatever code you will write, if you have to execute it, then you have to click this button. So in that case, let me write a simple JavaScript code. So I will write where a equal to 100 semicolon. I will do gs dot print. And here I will mention the Java script code output is I can just do like this a semicolon that's it and I can just click this button so it will run this particular code that mean that means it will be the output of this code so if I click this you will see it has printed and it is displaying me the output same text which we mentioned in our script that means our code was executed successfully without any error and now i have the output so javascript code output is you can see it is printing the value of a which we mentioned in our code so that's how you can see the output of any code which you will write in background script. And as I mentioned, you will see most of the examples of JavaScript as an output you will see via this background script.